Hello there, welcome back to the Yoga, the old Git Reacts, Reviews and Off Times, Reminiscences. Uh, today we're doing something that uh, I discovered this very morning. Um, in fact, I can't remember the name of the band, Subi and Not, something like that. Uh, anyway, um, I have flicked rapidly through the album, spending about 10 seconds on each song. Uh, it sounds alright um, on first, um, first listen, so I've picked one to do totally at random. So for once, this is a as close to a genuine reaction as you're going to get, I guess. So let's uh, have a little listen. Bosh. Okay then, so first impressions. Um, I've heard about the first 20 seconds of this um, and it's got a sound that I like um, and that um, is as far as I've got with it really. So I love that fizz, that abrasive sound um, of the guitar, uh, quite low-fi, uh, not low-fi such, but raw um, and quite punky uh, in many ways. It reminds me of... Um, some of the uh, less known punk bands uh, that I listened to in my youth that didn't rely on sort of rock riffs as such. Um, so, and then uh, just this very moment, it's uh, kicked into a bit of a um, bit more emphasis, which um, thickens the broth nicely. So, let's see how it's going to progress. So, I wasn't expecting a solo in this, to be honest. This isn't the sort of uh, black metal I expect to hear any brightness, shall we say. Um, but that came ripping in. Um, and, in my opinion, a guitar solo shouldn't be wanky. There shouldn't be the sort of um, shreddy, sort of wanky stuff that uh, some people enjoy. I don't. Um, so, quite a simple, uh, appropriate solo in fact more of an accompaniment than a, than a solo because um it wasn't introduced and it wasn't sort of um it didn't take didn't hold sway over the rest of the music it was it was basically just laid over the top so um that's the sort of solo i like to be honest um and then just as it ended uh, again we have the we have that um foray into um a more overblown um, rhythm guitar riff.
So beneath all that fizz and murk, there's um, there's a there's a counter melody. It's quite um, uh, it's subdued, but it's still brighter than the rest. It, it's as if um, you've got some poor bugger having to polish the family silver, um, but the family keep using it, and no matter how quickly they polish that silver, some bastard um, makes it mucky again or tarnishes it. Uh, tarnish, yes, tarnish is exactly the word I'm looking for. So it's as if if somebody um, has been employed to a grand house somewhere where some rich bugger has got loads of silver and they're employed purely to um, polish the vast amount of um, dinnerware and statues and what have you. Um, but try as they might, the tarnish um, gets the better of all the time, and there's just a bit, a bit, a bit. There's just a hint of um, brightness coming from where they had, they have managed to polish before it tarnishes again. Yeah, I'll go for that. So there you go. It says on the uh, the website Iron Age Black Metal. Um, I think that's quite appropriate, quite primitive, but not uh, Stone Age. And um, it's got some bite, like said sword on image. Um, so yes, um, quite furious, but um, a little bit trance inducing at the same time. Right, so there you go. First full listen of that, and I, uh, I suppose that means I'm buying the the album. It's a short album, EP is, might be a better term, but uh, but anyway, glorious stuff. Um, right up my street, really. Happiness uh, dwells within. Uh, anyway, um, clicky bollocks. Catch you all next time. Cheerio.